It's going to happen. At some point, you'll second guess your gear. A solid fish on a small fly, light tippet, or four weight rod will beg the question, how much pressure can this light gear take? The answer might surprise you. Let's look at a real life fly rod testing situation using 4X tippet, a size 14 caddis, and a five weight rod. Pay special attention to the rod flex and pressure and to what kind of abuse 4X and a size 14 caddis can handle. There he is, ready? Yeah, he does too. Right here. Yeah. Here he comes, off left. Here he comes. Oh. Now he's got that log to go to. Yeah. Worse. Come on, little buddy. Come on. I think there's one more up there yet, love. I just saw it move around. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to land this guy. Okay. I also don't want to give him an inch under there, but no, don't he's give him taking an inch. a couple. Don't give him an inch. Come on, buddy. I might have to just get stabbed my broad deep. Okay. Come on. Out you come. So this is a field testing rod. And I'm just going to strip the hell out of it. Sorry, Sean. Sorry, Sam. But I'm going to pull this guy the best I can. Graze it off the rocks. Bent right over. He's got to be getting close to getting out of there. Oh, he's wrapped around that stick there. You can see it bobbing over Oh, there. I see it, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give him a little line, see if he can swim out of there. That might be the kiss of death, too. So, we'll see how strong this test rod is. Get it right underneath there and see if I can pull him out this way. No. Well, apparently, you guys, this tip it works. Because that's 4X on there. Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm going deeper than I wanted to. Let me pull him that way. Can't pull him that way. Hmm. But he's probably done laps around that thing, eh? Probably, unfortunately. Let's see if I can just drag him out of here. Are you kidding me? Well done. I got you this far. No kidding, hey? What have you? Freaking awesome if you just fell off now. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Eh? Come on now. Oh. Okay, awesome. So that's what I was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> there you guys go. Oh, that's beautiful, hey? So if you guys yeah. ever want to know what a, a rod can handle completely keeled over underneath logs and pulling them out on 4X tippet, there you go. That's what it is. Awesome. You there you go. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Lots of life on that one. <gasps> Look at these logs that you have to go into to try I to pull them out. Right. I just how yeah, you know, he was way underneath there. That those little sticks over there were just going ding 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 ding. And I was like, yeah, I'm not getting that fish. And I, I got him. It was awesome. I had a lot of fun. And that's 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 what I love the best. Anything unpredictable, not just because of size. It was a nice fish. I mean, it was about hey, I don't know if I'm getting that fish out of there. And anytime you get the value of engagement, there's a factor into it. And that one was the fight. I was pretty sure I was going to get the take. It was going up around all the way back in there. And I knew it was going to drop out. But the downstream take again. And you have to wait. You have to wait. And then the take. Well, if downstream take is kind of at, at you at that angle, well, you have to wait and try to offset the hook set. And then rodeo time and 50-50. <laughs> and this time I won the 50-50 draw, so oh, was awesome. awesome. Thing is, with these rod demos that you see at the Orvis Guide Rendezvous, or, you know, this cliche thing that, well, starting to be cliche, no offense, guys, but, you know, you put the rod in a little holster, and, okay, we're going to show you how this thing can withstand stuff. Well, wh what about, you know, while you're fighting a fish, somebody's knocking on that, or you hit a rock, you hit, you know, show us something else. Well, I hope that just showed you guys what these rods can actually handle bent over fighting in real-life situations, you know, these... These sticks, these rocks, just put your rod, if you can't, if you can't put your rod down, banging off the gravel, and be able to trust that it's not going to break while you're catching, you know, for a lot of people, that was a fish of a lifetime. If you can't rely on your rod to do this stuff, then what's the point? You know, you have to be able to trust. Uh, this is a field test rod, I don't know what it's going to be with the Orvis World, but it doesn't matter what rod company you're with, you know, these are the kinds of things that they, they have to be able to do these days.